Hello friends, I hope you were able to print your name using Google Colab. You were able to write Python code to print it. Right? Say suppose now I have a task of adding two numbers. Okay, how do I do that? How do I do that? So I can add A plus B I have to do. A has some value and B has some value, right? So in order to do that, first I have to say what is con what is there in A and what is there in B. So how do I do that? So that is called as variable declaration in Python, right? So what I do is I will add a text file. I will write some rules. So when you insert it, if I want to move this entire cell up, okay, so just I'll write variable declaration in Python. I want to make it bold, select this and make it bold. Italics, you can make it. You can as well insert some photos which says that what is variable declaration and all. So, right now I am not doing all those things. Just I will press shift enter. Okay, so this is the one. Now, what is the task? The task is I have to add two numbers, right. So, I have to add numbers. So, I have to declare what is A and what is B, right? So, let me put this way. A is equal to 5. B is equal to 9. And sum is equal to A plus B. Now, what should I do? I should be able to print my sum. Print. sum and shift enter. Did you get this? So, please note that in the earlier program, whenever I was printing my name, I had put everything in double quotes. When you put it in double quotes, it just prints whatever is inside. It doesn't care about what it is inside. Say, I'll add that as well. Now, I will do print same thing, I will put it in double quotes. When you put it in double quotes, you can see the change in the color as well. Now, I will execute it. I will get 14 as a sum as well. SUM is printed on the console window. I hope you understood what is the difference by adding and eliminating these inverted commas. Right. So, now I had declared A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 9. So, A and B are called as variables. Okay. So, what do you mean by variable? Variable is nothing but a container in which I can hold some things. Right. There are some rules to declare how a variable should be. Okay. The rule number 1, rule number 1, I will add a text or I will add here itself. Rule 1, rule 1 is the variable should always, variable should always start with, with an alphabet or underscore. This is the rule number 1. Rule number 2 is a variable should not start with number. Variable declaration should not start with some numbers or special characters. Example, I cannot say like 
फर्स्ट नंबर इज इक्वल टू फाइव दिस इज रॉन्ग ओके आई शुड नॉट राइट दिस रूल नंबर थ्री इज इट इज वेरिएबल डिक्लेरेशन इज केस सेंसिटिव वेरिएबल डिक्लेरेशन इज केस सेंसिटिव वो डू आई मीन बाई दैट I mean to say, this is different variable in A M E where N is capital is different from from this as well this. Okay, once the character changes, if it is a capital letter, okay, the variable is different. If it is a smaller case, the variable is considered as different. That means I can say that. N A M E is equal to ninety. Is equal to seventy. These two are two different things. I hope you understood what is the difference and what are the four different rules. Uh, what are the three different rules that I can use to declare a variable. please try out for from your side start declaring the variables and start printing them and check hope you enjoyed this video see you in next video